We are shining the spotlight on the financial troubles in one of the largest school districts in St. Charles County. That is $12 million in the hole. Francis Howell is battling the twin threats of money woes and COVID. Elliot Davis talks to the superintendent in tonight's You Paid For It. Francis Howell is one of the largest school districts in St. Charles County with over 16,000 students. It includes St. Peter's, Cottleville, Weldon Spring, and parts of St. Charles City. Attendance has dipped slightly over the years as other St. Charles areas grew. But what also grew was the school district's deficit. It's now $12.8 million in the hole. I talked to Superintendent Nathan Hoven. How did the district get in this shape? It's really been a process that's probably spanned about eight years or so. A lot of uh, well-intentioned decisions, doing what we, best we could for kids, and the accumulation of those over the years and three failed tax levies have led us to this point. The financial woes forced to cut of 48 teaching positions, four administrators, 80 support staff to save some $5.3 million. It's not enough. Voters haven't been in a mood to give as much as the district needs with three failed tax hikes. They think we're overstaffed. They got angry when you guys gave staff raises while you were in a financial crunch. Why did you do that in the first place? So I wasn't here uh, when that decision happened, but as I said earlier, many, many of the things that we're doing, um, at the time you're making the best decision you can for kids. And so we know that uh, taking good care of our staff helps us to keep great staff and, and recruit and retain good staff. I talked to one of those taxpayers who helped defeat one of those failed tax measures. I think they're in a better position on several fronts. Number one, they've had uh, some leadership changes, so that brings new ideas. They've got a new director of communications, so that brings new ideas. And But the most important thing is they're listening to the public. Now, like every other school district, Francis Howell has had to do a complete reset in the COVID pandemic figuring out how to teach kids when they were out of the classroom, then bringing them back. The district got $2,100,000 in COVID funds first time around to help pay salaries during the COVID closures. They're expecting another $3.8 in the next round of federal pandemic funding. The superintendent, though, has questions over how those funds were doled out. We saw that some districts about a fourth of our size got the same amount of money as us and other similar sized districts got, you know, five and six times as much as we got. I reach the state's highest education official, Education Commissioner Margie Van Dieven. Is there an inequity in the distribution of this, these federal funds? So this is again a federal formula. It is not the state's decision making that comes in very um, detailed on how we distribute those funds. And if you're familiar with the federal Title I um, purpose, it's usually to help serve those who need it the most. For now, an uncertain financial future at Francis Howell. Well, certainly we appreciate that money. We appreciate the stimulus money, but it is just one-time money. And so when we have these other conversations about staffing cuts and long-term issues with our budget, um, you know, one-time stimulus money isn't going to fix that for us. The Francis House superintendent said they ultimately will likely have to go after another tax measure. They're just not sure when. Of course, I'll stay on top of this deal. After all, you paid for it.